Today we'll be using Excel for Monte Carlo simulation. In a previous video, we discussed the foundation of Monte Carlo simulation and sensitivity analysis for a stochastic modeling of projects. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now we want to use Excel to perform Monte Carlo simulation. We'll work on a template for project cost management using Excel by using inverse functions to generate random numbers in log normal distribution, beta distribution, normal distribution, F distribution or Fisher, gamma distribution, and chi-squared distribution. This is followed by calculation of p-values using percentile function. This is different from discrete event simulation or DES, which models the behavior of a system as a series of discrete events that occur at a specific points in time. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Let's focus on stochastic cost modeling of a project. We can follow only four simple steps in Excel to perform Monte Carlo simulation for our risk management example, based on ISO 31000, which is the international standard for risk management. Step 1 is to decide on distribution of input variables based on historical project data. Let's start by analyzing the provided spreadsheet, accounting for 6 activities in a software development project with a deterministic estimated cost of $69,600. The first activity of requirements gathering and design has an estimated cost of $22,000, but our previous projects show that there is probability and randomness around this activity. The best fitting distribution which can explain variability in our historical data is log normal distribution. We can generate random inputs for requirements gathering and design by left click clicking on the relevant cell and pressing the equal sign. In the formula bar, enter log normal inverse function with two variables of mu and sigma. As you can see, the mean value can be calculated and it is almost 10. Also, a small value for sigma, such as 0.2, ensures a concentration of random values around the mean. After that, we should click and drag down to generate 5,000 random numbers following our log normal distribution. The large number of non-deterministic samples offset the effect of outliers or extreme cases for the activity cost. For a quick browse of this large spreadsheet, use the control key plus the up arrow to return to the top. Also holding control key plus down arrow brings us to the last row. The second project activity of resource allocation and scheduling has a single point estimated cost of $9,000 and the best fitting distribution to the historical data is beta distribution. We can generate random inputs by using the beta inverse function. Next, we should click and drag down to generate 5,000 random numbers following our beta distribution. The third project activity of coding has a single point estimated cost of $14,000 and our previous projects show that the best fitting distribution is a normal curve. We can generate random inputs by left clicking on the relevant cell and pressing the equal sign. Then in the formula bar, enter norm.inverse function. Next, we should click and drag down to generate 5,000 non-deterministic samples. Please note the variety in distribution choices in our example, which may or may not be the case in all projects. Some large projects might have two or three distributions explaining variability and randomness in all activities. The fourth project activity of testing and quality assurance has a single point estimated cost of $8,000. The best fitting distribution based on historical data is F distribution or Fisher. We can generate random inputs by using the F inverse function. Next, we should click and drag down to generate 5,000 random numbers. Again, the large number of cost samples offsets the effect of outliers or extreme cases for activities. The fifth project activity of development and maintenance has a single point estimated cost of $9,000. Our previous projects showed that the best fitting distribution is a gamma. We can generate random inputs for the fifth activity by left clicking on the relevant cell and pressing the equal sign. Then in the formula bar, enter the gamma inverse function. Next, we should click and drag down to generate 5,000 random samples following our gamma distribution. The sixth activity is project management and has a single point estimated cost of $7,600. Here, chi-square distribution explains the data scatteredness. We can generate random inputs for the sixth activity by using the chi-squared inverse function. Next, we should click and drag down to generate 5,000 non-deterministic cost scenarios. This is a dynamic worksheet, which we can refresh to recalculate any cells containing random numbers using the F9 key. Now, we have concluded the first step in performing Monte Carlo simulation using Excel. Step 2 is to calculate simulated project costs using stochastic inputs. Let's start by calculating the total project cost for the set of six activities. Click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. Use the sum function in Excel to add up non-deterministic cost estimates of six activities, defined by their statistical distributions. Next, we should click and drag down to find 5,000 non-deterministic estimates of total project costs. A large population of cost samples offset the effect of outliers or extreme cases in the data. 
This concludes the second step in performing Monte Carlo simulation using Excel. Step 3 is to evaluate results by drawing the simulated cost histogram and the scarf. You might have noticed that simulated project costs range between $50,000 to $120,000. Let's enter this range in our spreadsheet with an interval of say $5,000 to generate proper beans for our histogram. To draw professional histograms, we'll need the data analysis tool pack in Excel. To activate that, navigate to the File tab and click on Options. Then go to Add-ins down below and select Excel Add-ins from the drop-down. Then click on the Go button next to it. Finally, check the Analysis Tool Pack box to enable it. You may have noticed that any changes in the spreadsheet trigger regeneration of random numbers. We can create a static and reproducible results by stopping automatic recalculations. Navigate to the Formulas tab and click on Calculation Options. Then change the default mode of automatic to manual. This reversible action is helpful when reporting to project clients since they can check how outputs have been produced. To draw the histogram of all non-deterministic project costs, navigate to the data tab and click on the newly installed data analysis add-in. From the list, choose histogram and press OK. For the input range, we should select simulated total costs. Click on the first row and hold Shift, Control and Down arrow keys. Then confirm the selection of 5000 values. For beam range, select the range for our total project cost, which we specified earlier. Remember to check the two tick boxes for cumulative percentage and chart output. By clicking OK, the chart is created in a new sheet. You can adjust the size by dragging a corner by holding the shift key. Feel free to get rid of unwanted elements of the chart and make it ready to be placed on your project risk report. Visual inspection of the histogram and its hump shows the most probable range of project cost scenarios. It would be possible to find different p-values by drawing two perpendicular lines as demonstrated for PAD here. Now we have concluded the third step in performing Monte Carlo simulation using Excel. Step 4 is to calculate quantitative results and percentiles. So far we have simulated project costs for 5000 iterations and drawn the histogram which is similar to probability density function or PDF. The S-curve which is similar to the cumulative density function or CDF allows for calculation of percentiles such as ADS to analyze uncertainty. Now we can focus on the quantitative calculation of percentiles using our tabular data. Let's start by calculating the 50th percentile or median or P50. Click on the relevant cell and press the equal sign. In the formula bar, enter the percentile exclude function and then select the output array. You may click on the first row and hold control and shift and down arrow to select all values. The next function argument to enter is the kth percentile, which is 0.5 or 50% here. We can follow the same procedure for P80 or 80th percentile, P90, P95 and P99. The comparison of p-values shows the increasing trend in stochastic cost estimations when confidence intervals increase. Now we have concluded the fourth step in performing Monte Carlo simulation using Excel. The beauty of this risk analysis technique in Excel is the simplicity in creating preliminary results and inferences. However, we should note that Excel generates pseudo-random numbers rather than true random numbers. Values are generated using a deterministic algorithm that starts with a seed. While numbers may appear random, they are actually predictable based on the seed value and the algorithm used. Therefore, for an advanced project risk assessment, the best practice is to use a specialized software and add-ins such as Oracle Primavera Risk Analysis, Palisade at Risk, or Crystal Ball. And here it is, an easy solution to Monte Carlo simulation using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.